Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from the smallman.com. I'm going to show you how you can use a timer with the help of VBA, so you can time your procedures. So let's go straight into the back end of Excel and we'll time a process for this rather large list. So let's press Alt F11 and we'll insert a module. Yeah. So we'll create a subroutine. And then I'll just call it time my data, yeah, or process, whatever. So we firstly want to dim a, a T. So this is like our start date as a date, yeah, and it's going to be date time, yeah. So secondly, we want to dim T2 as a variant, yeah. And then we'll let Excel decide what that looks like, yeah? So we'll say T is going to be equal to, and you know there's a formula called now in Excel, yeah? And then what we want to do is we want to get the value of T2. So it's basically the difference between now and T. So the way that we write that is we'll say T2 is equal to, and we want to create a format for this. So we want it to come out in this particular format. So we'll say format, open bracket, and then it's now open and close bracket minus T. All right. And then we want to say, okay, what's the sort of format that we want that to come out with? That's how the format formula works. So we'll say hours, hours, and then colon, minutes, minutes, colon, second seconds assuming we want to display the amount of hours minutes and seconds the process takes to run now inside here this is where the magic happens yeah this is where you're timing your process so what i thought we might do is we might create a process between a and b now i've got a 30,000 strong database sitting in the back end. So what we'll do is we'll say, we'll loop through, let's have a look at the, the database. So I'll talk you through what I want to do. So basically I'll loop through every second row and I'll color that. I'll give it a different color. So it's got to go down 30,000 rows, I think. What do we got? 30,198. So it's got to go down all that way and it's got to color every second row. So Let's go into the back end and do that. Alt F11. What I might do is I might dim I as an integer. All right, good stuff. Give that a bit of space and we'll say for I is equal to, we'll start in row two, yeah? And then we'll go to the last row because I don't know that the data set's not going to go from 3198 to, you know, 25,000 or to 50,000, yeah? So we'll say two to the last row. So we'll just say uh, range, open bracket, A, oh, my, sometimes my curse, my keyboard doesn't work as well as it should. And rows.count. It's usually just with the, um, the quotation mark. Dot end and Excel up, yeah, and then dot row. Okay, now that will give me the bottom of the range. Now, the first thing I do when I go into a loop is I go straight out of it, yeah? And then magic happens through here, yeah? So what we want to do is we want to color the cells for every second row. So actually, what I might do here is I'll say um, step two, yeah? And then that steps every second row. I don't have to do anything special, yeah? No counter required. All right, good stuff. So we'll say... Uh, what's the data look like? Let's have a look at what it looks like. So it goes from A to S. Cool. All right. Very good. So we'll say range. And then oh, here's where I have some issues. A, close the quotation mark. And, and we'll just go I. Yeah, cool. Now what I've effectively got to do inside of here is I've got to replicate this. A2 to S2. Yeah, I've got to replicate that. It's a little bit trickier inside of here. Eight, and you just got to think about it. So, so that'll say A2, then we say ampersand to A, oh, there we go, there's that issue again. A, uh, no, that's not what I want. I want that, yeah? So you've got to think about it uh, to S, 
close the quotation mark, and then ampersand I. Yeah. Now that'll say A2 to S2. Yeah. That's for the first iteration. Now we'll just go uh, dot interior dot color, and we can get choose from uh, any one of our eight. Oh, I can choose from all the colors, but the easiest ones to get to are the VB red, the VB green, the VB blue, the VB magenta, the VB cyan, etc., etc. So I'm going to go with cyan. So VB, cy oh, VB cyan, and it should space everything out really, really nicely. Yeah. All right, good stuff. So basically, what we might do is we might kick off the process. Yeah. And then we will, I'll go for a watch window. So I'll view and I'll go with the watch window and I'm going to take T2 and I'm going to punch it in there. Yeah. So this is when the recording starts. After I press F8, it'll record the time. Yeah. And now I don't want to record the process, you know, of 30,000. And I'm pretty sure that this will, let me just move you down a little bit, make this line all... Uh, colored so we'll just go f8 does it do line two first yes it does does it do line four yes it does okay so i'm going to run through i'm going to stop the code just there i'm going to run through to the end okay 26 seconds now <laughs> granted <laughs> most of that 26 seconds was marcus just yada 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 talking yeah so um that's basically uh done it from start to finish uh, <clears throat> so I might just I might just undo all of this, all this good work that we just did. Excel does that in light speed, and we might run it from start to finish. I'll go in the back end, Alt F11. We might run it from start to finish and see what this this says. So I'll just press the play button, and we'll watch this over here. So we'll play. I'll just run. There we go. Took one second. Yeah. One second. If we want to sort of uh, test the veracity of that, I'll just press F5. We'll just go MSG box. There's really no need for this now. Message box, and we'll just say T2. Yeah, and then it should pop up with the time. So we'll go play. One second. It's probably a second plus change, but we're all good. I mean. I imagine you're, the procedure's under a second or from one to five seconds. You're not really going to be like trying to differentiate the, those sort of processes. It's the ones that take, you know, a minute and a half and so on and so forth. So there you go. That's how you apply a timer inside of Excel. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take it easy, everyone.